Alyssa's bathroom that I'm vlogging in. We are at a baby shower and it just got done so everybody's sort of scrambling about and I just went up to the hostess and said, do you mind if I put bits of your house on the internet? <laughs> because she has a little house like mine and she's done so much with it and I love it so much so she gave me permission. We're going to go sneak around, other people don't know what I'm doing, and I'm going to show YouTube somebody else's house. So welcome to an It's Not My House tour. This is the It's Not My Bathroom and I love the color green on the walls. Can you see? I also love her dark vanity. And I love the sink. It's like an old-fashioned spout thing. I just love all of it. She's got a nice, you know, small-sized bathroom, but she's figured out how to make space work. You guys are supposed to tell me when my hair looks like some sort of weird toucan sprig. Oh well, the toucan sprig lives. The battery's dying. We don't have time for this. Okay, this is her daughter's room. It's like Pinterest come to life. Look at the colors she chose. We're zooming fast. So beautiful. And it matches the thingy. And then over here, pictures, and look at the books, and the stack, and the doll, and the, I just love it all. Hey. And the little details. This is in her son's room. She's got a little pendant flag going to the airplane on the wall. This is the said hostess I was talking about. This is Hannah. She made the quilt. Okay, I, I'm loving everything, but kind of hating you a little bit. <laughs> How do you do this stuff? I love it. <laughs> I did. I said it. It's a post baby shower. It's been loved in and lived in and partied in. Okay. She's got a statement door with a chalkboard wall and a really cool doorknob that are different than the rest of the doors in the house. This is it is Pinterest come to life. I love it. I love that idea. And then even though she has a small house, she did dark colors on the walls, and it looks amazing. This is a really dark purple. kind of looks red in the camera, but it's not. And she was given a whole bunch of frames that didn't match for her wedding, so she just spray painted them all to make them match. Brilliant and simple. And then look at this wall. She wanted to do a chair rail with wainscoting, but that's expensive. So she added the little border here, took the paint she already had, mixed it with white, and just made stripes. Done in a day! Genius. <laughs> She wants me to have you forgive the mess. Remember, we just had a baby shower and there's a lot of kids running around, so they've terrorized it a bit. But I think this is amazing. She's got this pot rack and it's just amazing right above the little tiny kitchen. I just love those details. You know how we all see on Pinterest people redo these little kitchenettes? Well, she actually did one. And there's knobs down here so they can pretend it's a stove. I love it. Yeah. I keep saying that. I just love it. She's made those little um, built-ins that you do yourself. She's got oranges and yellows and you saw the purple wall. I'm just totally... I love it. I love this stuff. <laughs> and then there's people who don't know what I'm doing. Oh well. This is what she put together for the shower. I know, I should have done it at the beginning before we all partied, but what we did was we took puff pastry and everybody got to fill it with whatever they wanted. So there's honey butter and cream cheese and Nutella and bacon and chocolate chips. All kinds of lovely stuff. And then we put it in the puff pastry and everybody got to bake their own. And we all had nice little tea sets. She had that table set so nicely with um, all the tea set things. But like I said, we partied, so we kind of destroyed the place. But you can see all the cute touches. It was really super lovely. It's the simple things, like a mason jar filled with water for a doorstop. Okay, we're back in the not my bathroom, and I, the two can sprigs are probably crazy. Yep, that's all right, whatever. Anyways, this is what I want my house to look like. It's a small house, but it looks loved in and lived in, but designed well. It's got that anthropology look, because I think you pay a high price for anthropology pieces to make them look loved in, lived in, and designed well. But she's done it all with like Craigslist and free items and working things out from the dollar store and donated things. She's just one of those amazing people that knows how to do that. Good job, Hannah. Good job, you. I want to make my house look like this one. Ideas? What else? What else should I do? I want a statement door that I can write memory verses and grocery lists and happy notes to people who are having baby showers at my house. I want to be the adorable blonde girl that was out there who wears an apron while she just is effortlessly hosting a party with her big beautiful eyes. Did you think I was going to say eyes there? Because if I didn't, you're in the wrong crowd, kids. <laughs> okay, battery's going to die. Thanks for coming with me on this Not My House tour. It is a I wish it was my house tour. And as if I planned it, the battery died right there. How many times did I say love? My goodness. Here are some pictures of the event. Luca's mismatchy socks, the hostess's adorable daughter, the spread after we already tore into it, and my darling Natalie, the mama-to-be, giggling and laughing as she made her pastries. Thanks for watching, guys.